Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we are gonna look at what the heck is a home region with Power BI. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, home region. What the heck do I mean by home region? When you have a Power BI tenant and you know you sign into Power BI with your email address, Power BI itself for your organization resides in a certain data center or data region. This data region is used for all of the users with inside of your organization. This is referred to as your home region. So regardless of where your users are, if some of them, if your home region is in the United States, but you have some users that are in Europe, when they sign in, they're gonna be hitting the United States data centers and whatever your home region is. To figure out where your home region is, all you have to do is sign into Power BI. You can go to the upper right-hand corner, select the question mark, select about Power BI, and that will tell you where your home region is. It is wherever your data is stored. So what about dedicated capacity, Power BI Premium? When we create a premium node, it will be tied to your home region. So whatever Power BI desktop files you upload, wherever your models are, your data sets, those are gonna reside in your premium node and those will reside in your home region. So now we get into data residency. If I am in Europe, but my company is in the US, I need to make sure that data in Europe stays in Europe. How do I do that? And this is where the multi-geo feature of Power BI Premium comes in. I will have a different video really going through that, but just know that multi-geo is going to be the answer for data residency and compliance. And so the idea there is that you can have a premium node that is outside of your home region. And then the other thing to consider with your home region is egress charges from an Azure perspective. So Power BI itself doesn't have egress charges. And the whole idea of egress charges are if data crosses the data center boundary, of whatever Azure service it is, you get charged a potential egress charge. If it stays within the data center, life is good. And so when working with Azure or Azure services, you wanna be really careful about where the Azure services are located and what data regions they're in compared to your home region of Power BI. And so, like I said, you can figure out what the home region of Power BI is and try and make sure if it's possible to keep your Azure services in the same data region to avoid those egress charges. And the concept of the home region is really gonna become important when I do the video on multi-geo. All right, what questions do you guys have? Do you have questions about the data regions, where things are, how things transfer? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.